Hey guys, I'm Chosen Architect, and this is Dawncraft. Guys, real quick, just wanted to mention, if you're a supporter of any tier, whether that's on Patreon, over on Twitch, or even on Discord, be sure to join the Discord and get access to the supporter server, as we just opened up a Dawncraft server. Be sure to check that out. Of course, links all down in the description. All right, let's get on with today's video. So I was just out here looking at these horses because today I want to get myself a horse to make traveling a little bit easier. And these horses just aren't going to cut it. None of these horses even remotely compete with the horse that we have back at the base. Uh, kind of crazy, honestly. There's a horse that is in this stable inside this pin that can honestly jump its way out of this pin and has the fastest speed out of all these horses I've seen around. Look at this. This guy has a speed of 11.22 uh, and 3.4, almost four blocks worth of jump height. Now I just got to tame this guy. And uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like he's got a whole lot of health though, which could be a problem. But really, we just need a fast horse. We don't need a, a horse that has a lot of health. It's going to take a moment to tame this guy. But as soon as we do, I want to show you guys something really cool. There is something quite fantastic that we can do with this so come on buddy you got this oh wow this guy is just not wanting to be tamed come on there we go nice so while we're on this horse i believe we can hit j and it says this is now your personal horse so i've hit j and if i open up the inventory we put the saddle on and this horse is stuck inside this pin well if i hit h I can now summon my horse. And if it's too far away, it'll usually teleport to you. Like that. How cool is that? So no more do we have to worry about getting it across the ocean. And now we can travel incredibly fast. And we don't have to worry about our stamina. Oh, the, the awful stamina going down. We now have a lovely steed. Now, something I wanted to mention at the start of this series, I thought that I have had a t obtained a full set of iron gear. Turns out this has been chainmail all along due to this texture pack, making this gear look like it was something special. So I think I get better myself by actually upgrading these pieces of gear to iron, much like the enchanted ones that we found in some chests. I can't believe I gone this far without realizing that and completely my bad when it is a texture pack that I'm very unfamiliar with. So this should make it a little bit easier on us and hopefully protect us a little bit more, at least until we can get even better drip. Now, last episode, we ended up completing our quest and turning in and getting ourselves roll uh, for completing the pillagers and killing all the pillagers off. Now, this time around, well, the guild master wants us to kill a goblin king. And it says location of Ruined Keep, the Goblin King's hideout. Um, now, I don't know how difficult this is going to be to complete. Um, but I guess the first thing we should do is try to find the hideout. And it doesn't seem like it's that far away, to be honest. Now, I was out looking for a villager, uh, a Fletcher specifically, to try and interact with. But I think at this point, I kind of want to go in here. I think this is one of the puzzle areas that we need to complete. But how do we solve this puzzle? That is going to be, I guess, a good question. Do we hit this button to start it? Okay, that did nothing. Do we go in here? Because this is supposed to help us gr get more stamina, I believe. So there's a board over here. This is kind of cool. This is being powered by something. Maybe a mill back here? This looks like it does something. Oh, does this like solve? Oh, okay. So there's like some pistons. Ah, and then does this right here reset it? Uh-oh, hopefully we don't uh, break anything. So that moves that, that moves that. Oh, it's one of these kind of puzzles. Okay. So I'm guessing what we need to do is get the cauldrons lined up with the glass. So there's another cauldron up there. What does that do? That pushes it down. Don't, okay. 
So that pushed it there. Now we need to get this pushed over. Um, but how we're going to do that? How do we get... So that pushes that the wrong way. That pushes that. Okay, so this is that level. Huh. This pushes up. And then, uh... So what we need to do, I think... This is the back. <laughs> I think I've already messed this puzzle up. It's going to take a little bit of trial and error to get this routed where we need it. So I think I've sort of figured out how this is supposed to look. Now, unfortunately, it is quite confusing. And the reason why it's so confusing is because I think looking at these from this direction is how it actually works. So this side that pushes it to the, uh, the right is actually this that is activating it. So if I activate that, you can see that piston on the right there. So it's from this perspective, but we also need to understand the way it is here without actually looking at it. Whew. So I think I almost have it solved, to be honest. Um, I just need the right side to push right there. That one is now solved. Um, but then that leaves me with another problem. This side needs to go over but it also needs to go over and this needs to be pushed up and this needs to be pushed over, which is a problem. Uh, maybe it's because uh, the top just needs to go down. Okay, I think I am slowly figuring this out. So this one needs to go down and I'm sort of swapping these out, I think. Um, I, I actually, I have no idea. Ooh, ooh, I think I almost have it solved. I just need to send this side over this way there we go and then last but not least which side is this this is the bottom left bottom left oh we're done we've completed it i believe that's correct submit and there it goes it opened up nice all right so you are no longer bound by the magical forces oh <gasps> We got two spirit orbs from that. I think we need four though to actually upgrade anything. So I kind of want to go ahead and try and go for the Goblin King. Like I know I may not have all of the stuff, you know, required to do it, but why not give it a shot? Why not give it a shot? It does seem like we are pretty close. So at least we can get an idea of where this thing is located at. And it seems to be just right around the river bin. <laughs> Uh, actually, right over here, where we had already sort of been. Um, so this was going to be kind of interesting. Looks like night is falling. Yeah, this place right here. No, I guess it is past this. But not too far past this. Interesting. This is like a goblin area in its own right. Oh, it's right there. That's the castle? Huh. How convenient. All right, so I just slept and I'm prepping for this battle. I need to find the entrance, but I do see the Goblin King. All right, and there's some warriors. Let's pop off and let's see what this is going to be like. Hopefully there's just like a set number. Oh, so these guys, Okay, so we are going to need quite a bit of food for this, I think. Um, I'm saving my arrows. And it does seem like I need to stay close to the to the walls because there are... Yep, yep, yep. This is where the, uh, the dodge roll would come into play. Okay, I can't see when these guys attack, unfortunately. But that attack... Oh, I couldn't dodge. Interesting. It definitely helps me get away faster. Okay, so we can move quite a bit faster. Okay, so that guy is done. And uh, you guys said in the comments that when the number on the far right gets to 100, we can do a large or heavy attack. So now that's gone. This is a wall. I hear loud and large steps. That could be troubling. All right, we can roll. 
seems like if we stay out of the way, these guys aren't too bad. They're not too, too terrible. Now, this is what I'm worried about. Oh boy. So I'm going to put the map away because we don't need that. Okay. Yeah, I noticed, I'm noticing they don't take any like knockback. I think if I just whittle them down. Oh yeah, the dodge backwards is super helpful. Not when they do that. Okay, there we go. A couple of hits from those guys. Interesting, interesting, interesting. These guys take a lot of damage. All right, what happens if I break the walls? Okay, so I have broken the walls down and we're met with a couple of these guys who are like shooting each other. Thankfully, I can pin them down. All right, that guy's down. Hopefully, I wonder how bad the Goblin King's actually gonna be it's itself. This doesn't seem like it's gonna be too, too terrible. All right, this fella, I don't know about. He seems like a, a tankier. This is, what is his name? Gob? Oh my gosh. He can gob his way out of here. I think this is working. Keep my distance, because this can reach from quite the distance, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm really liking the spear. We may have to go back to the base, though, with the spear. And, uh... Ooh, there's a big guy in there. Is that the king? There's no way. There's no way that's the king. Yeah. Ooh, what is this little fella? Sorry, bud. He's got, like, a... a He's got like a, it looked like a little bomb on his head. All right. And got him. Wow. Okay. So not too horrible. I think I should definitely go back though and make myself a spear. First though, I am going to loot this base camp. Ooh, this has efficiency on it. Is there anything else in here I should be worried about? Doesn't seem like it. I'm off. Oh, actually I do need to kill the slime. Kill the slime. Get out of here, bud. Oh, I didn't drop anything. All right. Back to the base to get better prepared. At least we know what we're fighting. All right. New spear crafted up just in case this one breaks. Don't want to end up in trouble. And we ended up getting ourselves a, a, an axe, but it's got durability damage. What a bummer. All right. So I'm back and I'm pretty sure that up there is the throne. And that is who I'm after. The little guy up there on the throne. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Um, and let's stir up some trouble. Let's actually enter into this bad boy. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay. I definitely stirred the pot with that one. Oh, and there's this guy. All right, maybe they'll end up shooting him to death. I love how this spear goes through the mobs. And so you can hit multiple at once. Yes. All of you guys come out of here. I'm going to have to whittle these guys down one by one, I think. Now this little guy. Oh, man. That is not cool. But we might be able to fix it with water. Because it seems like this thing is not going to really matter too much with water. Oh, my gosh. You're shooting each other. This is the one I want. The fact that this guy has some fast speed is really unfortunate. All of these guys have really fast speed. There we go. Look at this. How am I supposed to hit them when they're running around like that? Look how fast they can run. I guess they are ranged. Oh man, this is this might be tough then. I almost wonder if I could just float up here and try and get inside this area. Huh. Can I just float up here? Oh, there's some archers, but I might be able to get rid of these guys or get them to jump off. Got them. Yes, get wrecked. Okay, and we got power. Ooh, we got some enchants in here. Some nice loot. This is technically the boss. Um, I did bring arrows. Will I be able 
to shoot him. Wait, where'd he go? Wait, wait, what? Oh, the little fellow went down here. Oh, now he's now he's stuck though. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I can just go through here then and maybe grab some of his stuff. Is there a chest in his throne by chance? Nope, not there. Oh, I'll close the door on that guy. Wonder why a pick is maybe, I mean, an ax should be what this is switching to, but it switched to a knife. There is a chest right there. Oh, but it's nothing useful. Huh, there is nothing. I wonder though, with this being here, can I just like take him out? Oh my gosh, yes. We've got the range. That did a lot of damage though. I gotta be careful. But I mean, technically he left his throne. It's it's mine now. So I mean you can't you can't blame me. You cannot blame me. Alright, did he teleport? There he is. I think he did teleport, which is gonna be kind of hard to handle. Uh, but we should be able to manage. We should be able to manage. I am going to head into this. Oh boy, we're getting shot at. Oh, that is a chest goblin. I don't think I should mess with that. All right, here we go. Oh, I think we almost got him killed though. Woo! Let's go. Oh my goodness. Got him. And come on, buddy. Where did you went in the hole? We got to get him. That's it. That was it. Woo, we did it. We killed the Goblin King. Oh, that may have been a challenge, but we definitely did it. And that right there, I believe, is how you resummon him. And I got to kind of get out of here for a moment. I definitely want to go back, though, and see what kind of chest loot exists in here. Now, I already know that, uh, well, that chest that looks like a, a mob. Well, that's going to be a problem, I think. Why is it trying to break? Oh, there we go. We have to be able to break it. This thing right here. I'm almost positive that is not a chest. It's it's doing a bad job at making itself look like a chest, though. I love that. I love how it's still using like the base texture. All right, let's see if we can't potentially shoot it. There we go. And did it give us anything? It gave us a chest. I am going to try my best to loot this area out. I don't think there's many chests left, though. My God, he had a baby and that's the baby in there. Oh, no. Now I feel bad. No, his whole family's lineage gone just like that. Oh, my bad. My bad. Now, if I remember correctly from playing this in Better Minecraft, I believe, I think it was Better Minecraft where I messed around with this mod. Um, one of these little corner pillars actually has some good loot inside of it. Also, there's a turtle. That guy's a little cutie. Um, it's, it's definitely one of these. Let's see, what's in this? This is the main area. There's a chest right there. Be able to poke in, grab what's in there. Sorry, guys. I'm out of the way. Let's see. The bottom here. Okay, it's a little hidden area. But oh, we're inside. Sorry, buddy. Uh, ignore me. Yep, ignore me. Um, you stay. <laughs> oh, man. Got him. And these guys, I don't know what these guys are, but I love this. But we've definitely completed the quest. I wonder what we get given next for completing this. Um, I'm going to try, though, and poke into each of these corners. This would honestly be a pretty decent... Oh. Oh. 
Gotta keep in mind, these guys are actually still trying to fight me. Oh, and it's getting dark. Oh, shoot. Aha! Uh -huh. I managed to find it. Yes, there's blocks of emeralds in here. And goodies. And a chest. Not much inside the chest. But, ooh, this chest there might be stuff in. Oh, uh, loot inventory, not generated. Okay, there we go. Very cool. And a hay bell. Is there anything else hiding in here? All right, I think that is it. And then we also got ourselves the goblin crown. So let's head back to the guild master and let's turn some of these quests in. You know, as I'm riding back home, I totally forgot to name the horse. So let me know down in the comments below, guys. What we should name our steed. Hmm. All right, let's see what Mr. Guildmaster has in store for us today. So please be careful not to punch. Oh, okay, we gotta turn that off. Good. Seems like you're ready for an adventure. Ready to find your first eye. Hmm. Aha. So after a full pack reload, because for some reason my hotbar disappeared, um, we now have ourselves the map to the corrupt ogre hmm the whereabouts of the corrupt or ogre one of the eye holders so this is going to be probably something that's a little bit more difficult but uh well now at least we have a crown and this apparently uh says stun armor weight is five but it's only two armor so it's definitely not worth wearing i mean it's it does look pretty snazzy, I will say. Oh, well, look, look how cute we are. Look, we got a little crown. We're a little king of the village. But in all fairness, it's definitely not an armor piece worth wearing. Well, after slaying the Goblin King, let's take a look at where this ogre's at. I at least want to find where this location's at and uh, try my best and, and kind of see uh, what this looks like. I mean, we may not be fighting this today. I have no idea, but I at least want to get there and kind of get an idea of what this thing is gonna look like. Now, along the way, I wanna check out places like this because like this may be a village, but it could also be something else. And from the looks of it, it looks like a little quaint village. Very nice, but I don't see any villagers nearby. So I need to be kind of careful when picking up the stuff, but the looks of it, yeah, it's definitely uh, yeah, it's definitely a little village. Look at the little guy. How cute. Ooh, I can actually interact with this guy. It says, greetings, care to have a chat? I'll do it. Okay. Do you know that you can automate certain processes such as farming or mining using Ars Nouveau? Oh, is this just like giving me a tutorial? Um, yeah, I definitely did know that. Kind of. Talk to an engineer. It says you might need to talk to an engineer about how to use it. Interesting. Yeah, give a little interaction with these guys. Hello. You're a nice, you're a librarian as well. So yeah, this is just a nice little village, but it is along our way. So let's continue our journey. Now this place looks pretty cool. Is this also a village? Is this like a little village mushroom town? Oh, it is. That is so cool looking. We are almost where we need to go though. We're getting very close. I really hope we're not traveling to a Shrek meme, because that would be just a little over the top. Oh, wow. There's another... Is this another village? But it's all ships? Because that's pretty sick as well. Wow, that... That's pretty cool. It is. It is a ship. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, ooh, that thing almost killed me. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't shoot me again. What in the world? Okay, I have anglerfish after me. This is where getting onto land is actually a pretty cool thing that we can just do with the boat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, because there's anglerfish literally right on us. Oh shoot, we break through the ice? That's not good. Oh, I definitely need to grab these. These are source berries. These are gonna be very helpful for us. Well, potentially helpful. Uh. Yeah, they're a really nice food source and can be automated with Starbuckles. I managed to find myself another village and thankfully nab myself another waystone. Because I am really far out. I have no idea, however, why, like, this is this far out. It is insanely far out, it seems. Still, the marker just now started to budge. 
Oh, it's actually right over here. Now it looks like we're getting pretty darn close. This is a pillager camp. Wow, that would have been really nice to find, find whenever we were actually needing pillagers. But that's not actually what we're here for, I don't think. I'm pretty sure we need an ogre, unless this is where the ogre actually is. It is just housed inside of one of these camps. Oh boy. Yep, this could be, this could spell trouble. Oh, how do we handle all of the arrow barrages? That, yeah. That doesn't, this doesn't seem good. So just over here, this seems like a really nice area that I might be able to place a waystone down. This actually seems like another village. Oh wow, all the villages are so nice. Okay, so after closer inspection, I think I see what I'm after. Oh boy, these guys are really going for it, aren't they? How am I supposed to protect myself against that? I mean, that is just an onslaught. There's no way I'm protecting myself against that. I think the only way to even think about defending myself is by using arrows, my own arrows. Like, this is the only way. And this does so much damage. Oh, this is not good. Whoo, that was close. Wow. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get myself killed. So I think I actually found the orc, believe it or not, which is, I believe, right here inside this hill mound okay that makes a lot more sense um problem is it is surrounded by all of these pillagers and well that's just super unfortunate now this village is actually really well put together look at there's there's stalls for these villagers there's diamonds right there and these guys are not employed this village is way better than the village i had what? Whoa. Excuse me, boys. Excuse me. Apparently they're working on some stuff. And you know what? An iron golem might actually be the solution to our problems here. I wonder how crazy that would be. Ooh, also, what is this? There's just balloons attached to a balloon stand. Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. What is this balloon stand? Balloon. Okay, can I actually take these off instead of popping them? All right, I just pop them for the fun. Is this not a part of the balloon balloon stand? This is actually part of the cloud storage mod. Huh. So this fella right here, this fisherman, wanted me to complete a quest for him and was asking for a fishing rod. And I believe we can actually craft a fishing rod. I just need to go into my crafting spell. And yeah, craft up a fishing rod. I think. There we go. And then give it to that guy and it says, thank you. I don't have much to give you, but this cod is fresh. Oh, wow. So I crafted a fishing pole. And we added plus one reputation. That's kind of cool. So now we have a little bit higher reputation with our little villagers. If only I had a contract to be able to trade with a Fletcher. However, it's the contract required to trade with the Fletcher is quite extensive. Uh, I was looking in the quest, so we have to turn in the bundle. But to get the Fletcher, we have to craft 10 bows, 10 crossbows, and have 64 arrows, 32 flint, and 20 emeralds to claim the contract or trading with the Fletcher. And I think that would solve all of our problems. So maybe that's something we actually need to work towards. And uh, I think now that we have this village here and uh, we definitely know where our uh, ogre's at, I think that uh, it's gonna be a little bit easier. I'll go ahead and, and load this place up and I'll take this one on the go. And uh, yeah, I think next episode, we are gonna definitely grind out arrows because i need that contract i want to be able to trade with a fletcher it is going to be a lifesaver well guys with that i hope you enjoyed today's epic journey thus far and uh, i know we've only killed a couple of our well we've killed a boss but we are going to be getting this ogre killed asap 
But first, well, we're going to have to get our Fletcher up and running, and hopefully we can get to trading. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode again. And of course, if you did enjoy and you enjoyed this, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, be sure to check out our supporter server because we do now have a server open. So if that's something you're interested in, be sure to join the Discord, discord.gg4 slash chosen architect and become a supporter today. And guys, of course, I will see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.